And then the third of the three Americans in a row is Jeremy Warner, defending Olympic and world champion. Won his semifinal heat in 44.34. Leslie, couloir numéro 2. Allez Leslie, allez, allez, il faut tout donner, il va tout donner. Il est parti très très vite, en remontant même un peu son décalage sur Derek Brou, alors que Wariner est déjà en vitesse de croisière. Ainsi d'ailleurs que l'autre Américain, Otis Harris, qui est revenu lui sur Brandon Simpson. Oui, Brou et Harris, c'est parti vite, Patrick. Et il est bien, Leslie, pour l'instant, il est très bien, maintenant il va falloir oui, se tenir. Leslie est bien dans l'allure, il joue sur ses qualités, il a raison, de toute façon, il faut s'accrocher jusqu'au 300, il ne faut pas laisser partir. Il faut tout donner alors que Blackwood est en train de revenir. Wariner, c'est Harris qui, pour l'instant, euh, est en tête dans la dernière ligne droite. Attaqué maintenant par Wariner, Leslie John va essayer de revenir à la marque Rakil, mais ça va être compliqué. Wariner qui va être champion olympique, les Américains qui vont faire un 2-3. pulvérisé pour Jeremy Wariner on revient au bon vieux temps du 400 mètres quand les américains faisaient 1, 2 et 3 Il borne 6 Minnerom på andre rekorden her på Bislett stadion, den tilhører Michael Johnson på 43-82 Lar Otto Stevens, eller Modibo som han heter tidligere, går litt raskere enn seg de første 200 meterne. Men så kommer vel da Jeremy Warner, litt atlepsopplegg altså, enn han hadde i Berlin. Og også Chris Brown fra Bahamas, som har fjerde mann i VM i bane 3, presser han her ut på oppløpsesiden. Så setter vel da Warner en støt, og det gjør han. Nå skal han vise hvem som er sterkest på 400 meter. Passerer 40 blank, og drar fra Brown på de siste meterne. Han var inne på 43-99. 43-99, det er raskere enn Lashon Merritt. Det er årets beste i verden. Og dermed så vet han at han er på god vei tilbake til den formen han skal vise. And they're away cleanly. A nice cool evening here in Helsinki. Jeremy Warner already making a move in lane three, as is Daryl Williamson in lane five. Tyler Christopher splitting them in the red and white of Canada. Jeremy Warner stretching it out down the back stretch. Out in lane eight, that's Christopher Brown of the Bahamas making a good run. Williamson now making up the stagger on Simpson, but it's Christopher Brown out in lane eight. Jeremy Warner now in the middle of the turn, lane three, just the way Coach Clyde Hart told him to go. Picking it up, he comes off the bend first. It is Jeremy Warner in a runaway here in the 400 meters. Who will get the other medals? Tyler Christopher of Canada lifting well up the middle of the track. Christopher Brown still on the outside of the Bahamas. Here comes Andrew Rock. It is Warner, then Rock and Tyler. One, two for the U.S. And Jeremy Warner continues to dominate this 400 meter distance. Unofficially the time, 43.93. The first time ever for Warner under 44 flat. The men's 400 meters. Now it'll be interesting here to see what Spearman did on the inside. Right on the outside, Tyler Christopher of Canada has gone off very quickly. And so has the champion of the world, the Olympic champion. Looks very easy as he heads towards 200 meters. Does uh, Jeremy Warren. It looks to be in control, but his strength will come between two and three. Warren the lead. And in second place, probably Rock of the United States. Drawn the lane inside him, and right on the inside, Ali and Francis going well. But into the straight, Jeremy Warren is dominating this field. Right on the outside, Christopher of Canada fading just a little bit as Kikaya comes through. But look at this piece of dominance. Rock's coming through, but Jeremy Warren of the United States, it's sensational. That is a superb 43.92. Oh, I say, that's the fastest time in the world this year, and that was about as impressive as it gets. 43.92, the rest were off the screen. Valinier and Meditur, the fight is still to look at the 最后的一百五十米，那今天起跑呢，瓦里内尔有些犹豫，他起跑有些慢，这一下应该也是损失了一些时间。那瓦里内尔呢，他的特点是整个全程速度均匀，二百五十米到三百米呢有一个非常明显
呃，训练当中的专项能力并不是很突出，所以说要看在冲刺之前他能不能赢梅里特一些，这对于两个人最后的决战起到了至关重要的作用。已经到了最后的冲刺阶段，梅里特呢？今天的状态并不是很好。巴尼尔跑了四十三秒八七，这个成绩也非常的出色，这创造了本赛季最好成绩。Fuori della pista, non sul quattrocento. Tutto regolare. Stavolta Warner ha lo svantaggio di partire una corsia avanti rispetto al suo connazionale che quindi lo controlla, lo tiene d'occhio. Parte forte la Sean, pardon, Jeremy Warner, parte forte con la Sean Merritt che non gli lascia troppo spazio. E lo controlla adesso, eh? va a prenderlo ai 200 metri. Solitamente una distribuzione più regolare per Jeremy Warner, comunque è abituato a partire forte e adesso Warner è davanti rispetto al suo connazionale mentre Neville è partito come una lumaca, il terzo americano, Warner davanti, Merritt dietro, Warner che scappa via, i piedi funzionano molto meglio che nella finale dei giochi olimpici di Pechino, vediamo anche il tempo, ed è un grande tempo, 43-82 per lui, va molto vicino al primato stagionale del suo connazionale, la Sean Merritt, si prende, e badate che sto assolutamente dicendo un'iperbole, una piccola, ma piccola, ma piccola, minuscola rivincita, vince lui questa volta, ed ecco, fiori che volano verso il pubblico, L'abbraccio tra i due, come si ricordava, molto amici, meno decisamente in pista. 43-82, record stagionale per Warner, mai così veloce nel corso della stagione. Pronti! How will Xavier Carter run this? How will he contain Warner? Now Warren has latched on to him, but Carter has certainly gone off very quickly, right on the outside, Francis going very strongly as well. But Warner looks very, very comfortable. He's right up on the shoulder, what, a couple of meters down on uh, Carter. Carter going very strongly, still Francique inside Francique, while his spearman going well. And now Warner makes the attack on the bigger, um, the big American, Xavier Carter. Warner from Carter now, and Carter beginning to tie up a little bit. And Warner, the Olympic and world champion, looking to win his third race. And look at this, he's miles in front. Warner's come down the straight, Carter's in second place, but Warner's going to run a very quick time in Look at this! And Carter just eases off. Well, the time, forget that, because if it was 40.91, we've got an unbelievable world record. But not that, the clock has stopped. We'll have to wait to get that, and that's such a shame. Well, that was a lesson to Xavier Carter, it really was. But 300 meters, I've never seen such a devastating run from 300 to 400 meters. That was unbelievable. Carter was with him. Uh, but uh, my goodness me, he may well be a champion at uh, a 1963 man at 200 meters, but at 400, this is the man. On juoksta poissa, mutta muuten aika kovaa porukkaa. Ja katsotaan nyt mitä sitten Jeremy Warner tekee. Mies, jota valmentaa. Michael Johnson, entinen valmentaja. Ja Michael Johnson toimii hänen agenttinaan. Ja kyllä hirmuisesti lähtee Warner vetämään. Hän oli eilen lehdistötiloissa mukana. Ja kyllä häntä kovin piiritettiin ja haastateltiin. Hän lupasi, että tänään mennään kovaa. Keli suosi ilman muuta. Toivotaan, että se suosi myöskin loppusuoralla. Warner menee menojaan, mutta hyvin siellä tulee myöskin Kiron Clement ja Darold Williamson. Kaksi kovaa jenkkiä. Tuo Clement on myöskin kovalokan aituri Helsingin nelonen. Näin tullaan Warner jo. Vieressä Clement hyvin, mutta Warner on oma luokkansa. Nyt ei tarvi muuta kuin katsoa kelloa. Tuleeko 44 alitus perätissä? Taitaa tulla. Siltä näyttää. Tulee! 43.50. Nyt tullaan, nyt tullaan niin kovaa, että tämä sivua Quincy Watson maailman kaikkien aikojen kolmosaikaa. Michael Johnson ja Harry Bush Reynolds ovat luoset kovempaa maailman tilaston kolmosaika kautta aikoin. Ja siitä tavasti vielä putoaa sadasosa pois, joten se saattaa olla 43-49, mutta 40. 50, ja ensimmäinen timantti menee tänä iltana jakoon. Yleisö nousee seisomaan. Ja... And there's the gun. Angelo Taylor lane four, LaShawn Merritt five, Jeremy Warner in six, and Warner is away to a fast start. Look for the move now from Angelo Taylor. We've seen it all through the rounds. This move down the backstretch from Angelo Taylor in lane four. But Jeremy Warner is there, LaShawn Merritt, Angelo Taylor, Christopher of Canada. Into the turn for home and Jeremy Warner, along with LaShawn Merritt and Angelo Taylor, the three Americans. Home straight.
straightaway now, and Jeremy Warner has the lead. LaShawn Merritt and Angelo Taylor. Here is Merritt trying to close the ground, but Warner has too much. Warner wins, Merritt second, Taylor third, the U.S. sweep, one, two, three.